one of the questions you guys keep asking quite often is how to pose your avatar in Vinion, how to save a new pose, how to create a pose for Vinion, and then how to load it later on. Like, let's say you want to put your avatar into a sitting pose or any kind of pose you may come up with and have it mixed with tracking or something like that. It is luckily very simple to do. So today we're going to look into that. Hi, hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber. So we're here again with a new Vinion Basics tutorial. So today we're going to look into how to create a pose for Vinion and how to load it back later on to your avatar. Now, there are three ways of doing this. The first way is to create it using Vinyan SDK inside Unity. This is kind of complicated way of doing it, so we will not touch that part today. Instead, the other two options are to use another program to post the avatar. There are two programs that I'm currently aware of that can send VMC data out, which we can receive in Vinyan. One of them is AmbaDevs, VRM Post Transmitter, and the other one is VRM Posing Desktop. Today we will be using VRM Posing Desktop. It does cost a little bit. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I just personally happen to like that program a lot and would always recommend it to everyone. So let's get started with it, shall we? The first step for us is, of course, to configure the program where we set our pose. Today we will be using VRM Posing Desktop which you can get from Steam. It is relatively cheap, around 12 euros or something like that. Highly recommended for VTubers if you're planning on creating poses for your avatar. They have a lot more features than what we are going to be using today as well, in case you want to use it to create thumbnails or what have you. Now, the first step for us is to add our avatar into the program. You can do this by clicking the add and then going through the loading dialogues. Now, after you have your avatar in the application, you can pose it as you wish, or you can select some of the existing poses. And we're going to use an existing pose today to make things a little bit quicker, like so. Now, of course, you should adjust it so that it works with your avatar. Now, the next step for us is to actually send this pose to Vinyan, and we can do this by clicking this VMC protocol icon here. And now we will need to configure the pose. We're going to send the root transform to Vinyan. This makes things work a little bit better. And now we need to make sure what port we are going to be using. You can either enter something here or use this port up to you completely, and then simply click send pose date. And then we can close this window. And now let us open up Vinyan and configure the receiving end. Okay, so now that you are in Vinyan, the first step is to set up that receiving end. So go to the menu, settings, tracking layers, scroll all the way down until you find the VMC layers. Like so. And now we are going to configure a VMC layer. You could select whichever layer you want. I have these first two in use already, so we're going to use the layer number three for this. You can use layer number one as well. We are going to pass to the port right here. And if you have the default settings, it should already work. You can also toggle the clear on timeout off if you want it to retain the pose, even when the posing desktop closes, like so. And then you can close this settings window. And as you can see, now the same pose is reflected in Vinyan. So how do we actually store this into a Vinyan pose that you can then use with the set pose node? This is relatively simple, luckily. So we just open up the node graph. And uh, to save the pose, let's just add a empty channel point redeem here. We will just signal this and then search for pose. Now we have a couple different pose nodes. We have the set pose, which we will later on require. And then we have save pose, which is used to save a Vinyan compatible pose file. So we're going to connect this and then save it somewhere. So click the save button and choose the destination for the file. 
like so. And now once you're done with that, then simply send signal. And now the post file should be saved. Now, how do we use this then? We need to start using the set pose. And we will again connect it to a dummy channel point node like so. And now, before we try this out, we should clear our current pose. And we can do this again by going to the settings and then changing the port to something else or shutting down the VRM posing desktop. So in this case, let's just shut down the sending from here, like so. And of course, you will want to set the clear on timeout on so that it will remove the position or posture. Okay. Next step, we will configure the set pose. So again, click the load button and point it to the file that you saved with the save pose, like so. Now, you can also adjust the other settings if you only want to load certain parts of the pose. If you want to add a smoothing so that it actually smooths into the position, you can enter the milliseconds here. Then, if you want to apply leap motion tracking on top of the pose, you can keep this on. Otherwise, you can leave it off. And now, if you signal this, as you can see, now we have the exact same pose that we used with VRM posing desktop. So with this method, you can easily create new poses for Vinyan and then load them easily with the set pose node. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And you can indeed use other posing applications as well, like the VRM pose transmitter from Ambadev, which is also free or pay what you want kind of application. If you have any questions you would like answered in these Vinian basic tutorials, do write it down in the comment section. I will definitely go through those later. Anyway, cuties, see you next time. Bye bye.